Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I'm going to answer a burning question which I don't think we as readers ask ourselves maybe as much as we should and that is, should I lend books to people? So if you're new to the channel, my Sunday videos uh, are what I call my Sunday bollocks videos, um, where I talk about a random kind of book related topic for 10 or 15 minutes, really just to start the conversation. Um, so they're the, the, these are the videos that tend to get the most comments from people, um, which I love. So, you know, if, if you've got, if you feel a need to respond to me on what I say today, if you disagree with me or agree with me, leave a comment and we can have a chat about it down there. Now, somebody asked me if they could borrow a book of mine. My answer instinctively would probably be yes, because I, you know, I want to share the love of reading. That's why I do um, BookTube. I'm sure that's why you watch BookTube. Um, so we are all, you know, we're all passionate readers. We love books, um, and we want to share that, you know, that love with other people. And people can do that in, you know, a variety of different ways. But the way we do it here is by um, either talking about books um, or by, you know watching videos about books and commenting and so on and so forth and, and you know I've certainly had some fantastic discussions about books um, with people through booktube um, and have had some fantastic recommendations um, of books through booktube as well um, so my instinctive thought of you know if I was reading a book and I'd nearly finished it and I said and I was talking to someone about it and said oh this was this book was fantastic and they said can I borrow it when you finished it I think instinctively I would say yes because that feels like a nice thing to do, doesn't it? It feels like a good thing to do to share a book that you love um, with, um, you know, with a friend or, you know, an acquaintance. Um, but I think that's the wrong answer. Um, so the reason, the, the prompt for this video was a, um, a comment um, that I had from a subscriber asking um, whether or not they should lend their brother a book. Um, so they said, you know, they love, they, they love sharing they love sharing books, they love sharing the joy of reading, um, but um, their brother has a history of not returning books that they've lent them. Um, and when I, um, and you know, should, what did I think? Did I think they should, uh, they should lend the book to them? And, and did I lend, you know, do I lend books to people? And I thought about it and I thought, you know, it, again, instinctively my answer was yes, you know, you should, you should lend them the book and yes, I do lend books to people. But then I realised that actually that's not true. So I used to lend books to people. So years ago, I used to lend books to people quite a lot. And particularly, I guess, when I was a teenager, um, I definitely did it a lot. So back then, um, I had a group of friends, you know, a group of school friends. We used to hang around at school and outside of school. And a lot of us were into the same kind of books. So particularly horror. And we used to lend each other books that, you know, that we'd enjoyed. Um, and, you know, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Um, that kind of the, the community feel of it, I guess, of, of reading a book that you've really enjoyed and then lending it to a friend and then reading it and being able to talk about it. Um, I think the difference is back then, um, it was much more difficult for me to get books and for my friends to get books. So A, we were teenagers, so we didn't have, you know, the disposable income that, um, you know, that we might have as adults. Um, but also, you know, we're talking about the 1980s here, so the internet wasn't a thing. Um, you couldn't go onto eBay and buy any secondhand book, um, you know, pretty much in the world that you wanted. Um, if you wanted to buy a book that wasn't new, um, then you were limited to the books that were in the bookshop that you were in, you know, in the secondhand bookshop. What was on the shelves, you know, that's all you could buy. And you might be able to, you know, in a, in a shop that sold new books, you might be able to order in a book. But that might be a reasonably lengthy process and you'd be paying full price for it as well. Um, certainly not like today where either you can, you know, you can order pretty much any book you can imagine off eBay, albeit the prices of some vintage horror books are absolutely ridiculous, um, as anyone who's into them will know. Um, or you can buy, you know, a ton of different books on Kindle and, and get them delivered literally instantly. Um, and in fact, the other day, um, Troy tried up a subscriber, um, recommended a book in a comment. Um, it sounded interesting from what he said about it. I had a look at it on Goodreads and Amazon. It still sounded interesting. Um, I bought it uh, and, you know, we started reading it pretty much immediately. Um, and that's, you know, that's a fantastic, um, uh, you know, freedom that we have nowadays, the, the ability to do that. Back in the 80s, it was much more difficult. So lending books, particularly if you got hold of a book that was... Um, more difficult to come by um, so um, you know I'm thinking here particularly about like imported books 
Um, so there was a comic store in the, the town that I lived in um, that would get in like American editions of like science fiction and fantasy and, and horror books. Um, that were, you know, that was the only place you could get them basically. So if someone got hold of one of those, it would quite often be lent out. Um, so there, there, there was definitely a big lending thing going on. And with movies as well. So, you know, similarly with movies, much more difficult to get hold of movies. This was also, you know, at the height of the, the kind of video nasty scare. Um, so there were, you know, lots of horror films that were banned in the UK. Um, and I had a friend who had a friend um, who was able to, to, you know, to provide um, for a small fee. I think you'd give him a fiver and a blank videotape. And he, he had a huge range of, um, of dodgy videos that he could copy onto your videotape for you. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah and those, those definitely got lent around and, and watched in, you know, kind of sleepovers and things like that in my group of friends. Um, so nowadays, as an adult, it's much easier. You know, I've got more money. It's much easier for me to get hold of books and the same for people I know. Um, so lending is is something I would be much less inclined to do anyway, because there seems to be less point for it um, or less point to it. But also, um, crucially, um, I've lent a lot of books and not got them back. So I have lent a fair few books, you know, over the years as, as an adult rather than as a teenager and just never see them again. Um, and I think that's partly because um, whereas when I was at school, friendships were pretty solid and you would see people every day because you were at school with them. Um, as an adult, you know, in my work life, um, the group of people I work with can change, you know, fairly regularly. Um, so you're not, you're not getting that regular contact with people. And certainly there are people I've lent books to who I subsequently stopped working with and have and never seen the book again. Um, which is disappointing, especially as the books that I would lend to somebody are books that I would, you know, that I like. Um, I wouldn't lend a book I hated to somebody. Well, I might do, I suppose. Um, but it's, it's much less likely. Um, so there's that. But then there's also the risk involved. So there's a risk involved of losing the book. There's also the risk involved that everybody reads books, you know, physically reads books in a different way. And you might unknowingly um, end, uh, you know, lend a book to someone who is a spine breaker or a dog era, dog era or whatever, and end up with getting the book back, but in, in a very different condition to, to how you lent it to them. Um, but the other risk, of course, is especially if it's a book that you loved, that um, you've got an emotional investment in them liking it. Um, and, and, and equally, they feel some kind of obligation to you to read the book and to like it. And I think that can end up being quite awkward um, and it can end up it can end up with you not getting the book back in some instances, I suspect, because the person you've lent it to lent it to feels this this obligation to read it and like it. And they might keep on starting it and not getting on with it, but thinking, oh, I really need to I'll put it aside. I really need to give it a bit longer and then try again um, because, you know, Ollie lent me this book and he says it's fantastic. So, you know, I owe it to him to, to try and like it. Um, and that might just drag on and on and on until it gets too awkward for either of you to mention the book anymore um, and, and you therefore never get it back. Uh, but yeah, I think there's this real danger with lending a book that you have a real emotional investment in to somebody else. Um, I'm, and I'm, I'm very happy to recommend books to people. You know, clearly I do that every day on the channel. And, um, I, you know, I, I also buy books for people. So I quite regularly... Um, buy books for people as as gifts or you know send books to people as gifts um, but with no expectation that that I get anything back or you know that I get the book back or get anything else back and I think in a way that's that's less risky because because the person knows they don't have to give the book back there isn't that constant weight of expectation of that moment when they give the book back and you go oh did you like it and they go no shit <laughs> Um, you know, so, so there's that that dread about that that moment of having to give the book back, um, that I think can be a disincentive to actually you know ever try and read it in the first place. Whereas if you gift a book to somebody, they can chuck it on the shelves and it's you know, it's like whatever. Um, but yeah, I do tend to, I think, not gift or recommend to people books I have a huge emotional investment in or if I do I do it in a very caveated way I might well recommend books to people that I really really like and think are excellent books 
in the knowledge that they might say, actually, I didn't really enjoy this because X, Y, and Z. And that's fine. You know, I've done some buddy reads recently with people where we, you know, both went into the buddy read expecting to really enjoy the book and actually had very different responses to it. And group reads as well. So we did a group read um, recently in Kelly Hooked on Books' um, VC Andrews reading group. Um, we read My Sweet Audrina, which I loved. I thought it was fantastic. I mean, it was trashy as hell, but it was fantastic. And I gave it five stars. Lots of other people in that group absolutely hated it for very valid reasons. They had like really big problems with the book and didn't enjoy it at all. Um, and that's cool. That's totally cool. But if there's a book that like has had some kind of deep meaning for me, um, then I probably wouldn't be very inclined to lend it or gift it or recommend it to people because... Um, because if, if they say, um, you know, it's a bit soul-destroying, isn't it? If they say, oh, it was really awful. These are the reasons why it was really awful. Um, you, you end up, I, I think when you have that kind of an emotional connection with a piece of art, it becomes valuable to you in a way that other things don't. Um, and, um, and, and that's why I think there's a real risk in lending books you love to people. I think it's probably okay to lend books you think are okay to people. Um, but I definitely wouldn't recommend lending books you love to people because if you do get them back, you might not get the response that you were hoping for. Okay, now we get to that point in the video where I pluck a random book from the shelves or at the moment from the boxes because all my books are boxed up. Um, so this is uh, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. So in, in keeping with the theme of today's video, this is a book that was given to me as a gift by my boss at the time. Um, who said it was a you know a fantastic book and it really helped to be um, you know super efficient and she was a super efficient boss and a, you know super efficient person and is far more successful um, in business than I am. Um, the terrible thing is um, in, in keeping again with the with the theme of this video, I haven't actually got round to reading this book yet. So I definitely will at some point, um, and I'm sure it will give me some really useful tips. Um, but I, I have not yet read it, um, which is a little bit embarrassing. So hopefully she's not watching. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know um, your stance on lending books. Is it something you do a lot? Is it something you avoid doing? Um, is it something you think I should be doing more of? Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. We can have a chat about it down there. Um, but as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well. I hope you're really good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.